Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So today through, I'm going to be kind of updating a previous tutorial. You don't need to watch that one, but that's why this is very similar, just because it is an update, and that is how to do a third person free look camera, so you can move the camera around the player without affecting the player's direction. So let me hit play and show what we're going to make today. So you can see we can walk around like normal here, and if I to hold down left alt or any button you want, we can move the camera like this, and it's not going to change where the player's walking, so they can have a look around and this is great for shooters or anything like that really where you want to be able to have the player look around the entire environment without changing where they are running or the direction they're running in. And the reason this is an update is because the last one I did in Unreal Engine 5.0.0 and then I'm pretty sure in 5.0.1 or 0.2.3 one of them it then kind of just broke it, it didn't work so I'm doing this update here of how to fix it or just how to now do it in the newer versions. So without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create the inputs for this to work. So as I'm using the enhanced input action system, I'm going to be going to third person, input actions, I'm just going to duplicate the jump one, naming this IA input action underscore free look, as that makes the most sense for me. Then I'm going to open up my input mapping context, mine being IMC default, add in a mapping, adding this in to be IA free look and setting this to be left alt as that's the button I want but you can obviously set this to be whatever button you want for you. I'm going to save, close that and then go straight into the character blueprint which for me is BP third person character. Once we're in here we're going to right click and search for IA underscore free look or the action event which we've just created. Then we're going to also create a new variable naming this free look or is free looking anything along those lines. And we're going to set that off of started to be true and we're going to set it off of completed to be false. So we are now starting and stopping the free look. Then what we also want to do, which we didn't need to do last time, is get a reference to the character movement and out of this we're going to set orient rotation to movement. We want to make sure it is false when we are free looking and then we want to make sure it is true when we're no longer free looking. So that is what we need to do now. That is the fix for what was broken before. We now need to set orient rotation to movement to false. Otherwise it will still move the player when you are free looking, which is obviously the opposite effect of what we want. So this is now going to actually start and stop it, but we also want to have it actually working obviously. So what we're going to do is go to our movement input here. Move this down a bit so we have a bit more extra space and then also move these out a little bit as well. What we're going to do is get a reference to our capture component and out of this we're going to get world rotation. Then we're going to right click the return value and split the structure bin. Then what we're going to do is on forward back, we'll start this one first, where we have get forward vector and the in rotation Z, we're going to come out of this and get a select float. A is going to be this get world rotation we've just got here from the capture component. So that's going to be the Z value, so Z is going to go to A. And then B wants to be the Z of the get control rotation. And is A, or pick A, sorry, is going to be our free looking boolean. So if free looking is true, it's going to pick the value of A, which means we're going to be using the forward and backward value from the capsule component, so where the play is currently facing. If it's not true, so we're not free looking, we use B, which is going to be the Z value of the get control rotation, which is where the camera is looking. So that is how we are now changing between using the camera and not using the camera for determining which direction the player is going to be moving in. So I hope that all makes sense as to why we have done that and why this is going to be working. I'll just move this here to make it look a little bit nicer like so. And I'm going to move this up as well. Actually, I won't. I'll move it just further down. And then we're just going to do the same thing pretty much for the left right. So I'm going to move this out a little bit like so. And then I'm going to again get a select for the X, so select float. B is going to be X of get control rotation. A is going to be the X of the get world rotation for the capture component. And the same for the Z. So we can just use the return value of this select float here into the Z like so. Now this obviously doesn't look too great now, so what I might do is just move this down a little bit to be here, so it's kind of in the middle. And then you can obviously move this all about to make it look a lot nicer and a lot more organized for you. And a good way to do that is double clicking these lines, you can get these root nodes, which just keep it looking nice and organized. 
as you can see here. So we can just make this look a whole lot nicer like so. I'm not going to really spend too much time doing this right now as it's not too important for me. But if this is going to be in your actual game, then I'd recommend doing this. Just making it look nice and neat so you know what everything is doing and you can really just organize it. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I have now just done it anyway. So you can see already that looks a lot better and a lot neater. And now if we to hit play, we can test to see if this is working. We can walk around like normal, and if I were to hold down left alt, we can now move the camera independently without moving the player's direction as well, so which way we are walking in. So this works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we've set up this free look camera system, which is going to work in the newer versions of Unreal Engine 5, as the previous one didn't work anymore, it, it was deprecated. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.